All right, welcome to Talking Investing. I'm Tom, and as always, this is not financial advice. Today, I want to do a special edition Bitcoin miner update. This is our monthly update. So once a month, we go through and compare all of the monthly operational reports. This is going to be for the month of May. We're really starting to get some clarity, in my opinion. Things are starting to come into focus. Having said that, there's a few new pieces to the puzzle that I'm going to talk about before we get started. There's two companies that are not in my analysis. If they do what I hope they do, they're going to be in next month's analysis. So the first one of those companies is Stronghold. So you're gonna see Stronghold is a very small market cap, $23 million. So I believe that next month Stronghold will give a monthly operational report. It is still possible they will put out their May monthly operational report. Again, they have not been doing this, but I think they're going to start. If you enjoy this content and you wanna help, please subscribe to the channel, smash the like button and hit the notification bell so that you never miss a video. They did put out a press release on May 30th and it doesn't give all the detailed information that a lot of the other monthly operations updates give but it does give us a heads up and if they start reporting monthly this company will be in the top 10 immediately so as we go through the top 10 I want you to remember these two companies because next month it's likely that they are going to replace a couple of the top 10 companies during May 2023 stronghold expects to earn over 220 Bitcoin through its mining operations so that puts it easily into the top 10 now the month of May wasn't over and they have not subsequently reported what actually happened in May. So I can't put them in the report. They haven't really told us what's going on, but they may yet do this. It is June 14th. Everybody else basically has put out their operational report. Two companies did so today. Mawson, which is now once again doing operational reports. They are not in the top 10, but it's nice to see their operational report and they're moving in the right direction. And then Bitdeer put its first ever operational report out. Bitdeer just went public in April of 2023. So just last than two months ago. So they put out their May operational report today, and that's the next company that I want to show you. As an aside, YouTube revenue is down significantly in 2023, so if you want to help support the channel, you can do so by becoming a member of the channel. If you hit the join button on the YouTube page right next to the subscribe button, you can become a member. Members have a lot of members-only content. In addition to that, we do a once-a-week members-only live stream every Tuesday after the market closes. And lastly, we have a members-only Discord, where we have an excellent conversation going. I'm in there on a daily basis. So I'd like to take this time to thank all the existing members and welcome any new members. Bitdeer is significantly bigger. Remember, Stronghold was about a $23 million market cap company. This is over an $800 million market cap company. So these are two very, very different companies, but both of them are producing enough Bitcoin to put them in the top 10. Now, the reason I did not include this this month is this is their first monthly operational report. It just came out today. It's hot off the presses. And I really have not done a deep dive into Bitdeer. They have a very different overall business strategy. So before I put them in, I just want to finish doing my own deep dive and my own personal vetting of this company so that I have a better understanding of what's going on. But I will say it's worth noting they did put out a monthly operational report today. Bitdeer announces May 2023 operations update, June 14th. So I'm just going to skip to one sentence in here. 4.0 exahash is allocated to the company's self-mining business. So they have like 18 exahash in total doing lots of different things, most of which is hosting. This is really a hosting company, but at this point... If we can, if I can dig more into this and gain a full understanding of the four exahash that is their own self mining, they are going to be in the top 10. The company mined 283 Bitcoin in the month of May through its self mining business. So you'll see this puts them on the map. And again, I just want to get a thorough understanding of what's happening and make sure there's not a lot of profit sharing or other things that we didn't know about and that this is apples to apples. But if it is, then Bitdeer will also clearly be in the top 10. Okay, with all that out of the way, let's get to the list. Bitcoin mining production for the month of May, 2023. So the first way that we look at this is just straight up. How many Bitcoin did each company mine in the month of May? So this is self-mined Bitcoin. You're gonna see Marathon is now running away with this. This was very competitive. At the moment, Marathon is in first place by a mile. Wright remains in second place with 676 Bitcoin mined. CleanSpark remains in third place with 609 Bitcoin mined. So those three have been in first, second, and third place all year this year. I expect that to continue. I do think there's a pretty reasonable chance that CleanSpark will jump 
by the end of the year from third place to second place ahead of Riot, but a lot has to happen between now and then, so at this point, that's just speculation. Without a doubt, so far in 2023, Iris Energy is the one that has moved up this list most significantly on a list that has been fairly consistent. So next comes Cypher at 493. Bitfarms is now in six with 459 Bitcoin mined. Okay, TerraWolf comes in at seventh place with 323 Bitcoin. They passed up Hive this month though. So they moved from eighth place to seventh place. Hive comes in at 305. And again, that is more Bitcoin than they mined in the previous month, but they still did lose a spot because Wolf is on the move. And then in ninth place, remaining in ninth place is Argo blockchain. So you'll see ninth and 10th place are a distant, distant drop off. We go from over over 300 to under 200. So Argo blockchains at 173 in ninth place. Huts in 10th place with 147 Bitcoin mined. So if Stronghold and Bitdeer give us a monthly operational report in the month of June, then in all likelihood, Argo blockchain and Hut are gonna drop out of the top 10 for the time being. Now, Argo blockchain, it looks to me like will probably drop out of the top 10 permanently, or at least for the indefinite future. You know, maybe at some point they make their way back, but not in 2023. Hot 8, that is not the case. They have a pending merger, so we're going to see what happens. Later in the year, their numbers could go up dramatically, but I would expect they're going to fall off this list for a period of time. Okay, Bitcoin mine year to date. The top 10 in May are in the exact same order as they were in April. However, some of this is getting very close. So you'll see Marathon is out pretty far in front in first place. Riot is in second, CleanSpark in third. You'll see fourth and fifth is very close. Bitfarms is in fourth place overall year to date with 2,135 Bitcoin mined, but Cypher's in fifth place, just, you know, 80 Bitcoin behind it with 2,053 Bitcoin mined. And Cypher did mine more than Bitfarms in the month of May. So these two are very competitive. At some point they may flip flop. We'll have to wait and see. You're gonna see Hive Blockchain and Iris Energy are very close at six and seven. They did remain in the same spot. However, Iris Energy did pass Hive in the number of Bitcoin they're mining, but they, those numbers were very, very close. So we'll see if those two flip-flop as well. And then you've got TerraWolf, which is making ground on these guys. So it's possible throughout the year, TerraWolf will move up this list. Then again, same as the last list, you've got Argo Blockchain in ninth place and Hut8 in 10th place. All right, this is comparing each company's exa hash. So this is how much exa hash they had running at the end of the month on May 31st. So you're gonna see, the first thing you're gonna see, I include Core Scientific on here, although I don't give them a ranking. And I do so because Marathon is now at 15.2. They have now passed Core Scientific for the first time ever. They have more exahash running than Core Scientific does. It is noteworthy. Core Scientific did mine a few more Bitcoin than Marathon did in the month of May. So we'll see if that changes in June. It's likely to change sooner than later, but it is worth noting. This is the first time ever Marathon has been in first place because Core Scientific is in chapter 11, so we have not been ranking them. But even with them on the list, Marathon is now number one. Number two is Riot at 10.5. So there's a pretty big difference between one and two, and there's a pretty big difference between two and three. So Riot from 10.5, we go down to CleanSpark at 6.7. Now, CleanSpark does have a clear path to nine exahash. And then from there, by the end of the year, they're looking to get to 16 exahash. So at some point over the next couple of months, I expect them to start making a run at Riot. And again, before the end of the year, if everybody just sticks to their plan, CleanSpark probably will end up in second place here. Now, Riot may surprise us with some new plans that they haven't talked about yet. Remaining in fourth place is CleanSpark at six exahash, Irish Energy at 5.6 exahash, Bitfarms is still in sixth place at five exahash. They did just put a note out that they're now up to 5.3 exahash, so they are starting their growth again. They were very sideways for a long period of time while they were getting their balance sheet in order, but now they are starting to grow again. TerraWolf is up to 4.4 exahash, so that's an increase, although they remained in seventh place. Then we have a pretty big drop off. Hive's at 3.3. They do have a growth plan to get to six exahash, so we'll see how that goes. So they should remain competitive throughout the rest of the year. Hut is at 2.6, and again, Hut is all about the merger. If this merger occurs, they're gonna jump up to over seven exahash. So unless and until that occurs, they're gonna stay near the bottom of this list, and they may drop off the list. 
but at the moment they're at 2.6 exahash and then Argo blockchain rounds it out at 2.5 exahash. Okay, going through efficiency, this one is one that I'm keeping my eye on and I think this chart is absolutely fascinating. So, and the reason that I say that is I wanna take a look at the top four Bitcoin miners from an efficiency standpoint. Number one, two, three, and four do remain in the exact same order, but you're gonna see they're almost a statistical tie. In fact, the last three months in a row prior to this, Bitfarms and Hive were an exact tie for first place. So this month now you're gonna see, I put it out a decimal point. So Bitfarms technically is in first place with 92.6 Bitcoin mined per exahash. That moves Hive down to second place with 92.3 Bitcoin mined per exahash. But again, we're talking rounding errors here. So they have been tied for first three months in a row. This month, technically I'm putting them in second. Iris Energy is all the way in third, but you're gonna see they're at 92.2 exahash. That is virtual tie with first place. In fourth place is CleanSpark at 91 Bitcoin per exahash. So still extremely close to first place. So these four have separated themselves a little bit. They remain all very competitive for that first place spot. Bitfarms and Hive have been sharing that spot. Bitfarms pulled just a tiny bit ahead. So the consistency in this is what is surprising me. These four companies have been battling in a very, very tight range. Even though the range changes from month to month, these four companies have been very close. Now, Marathon moved way up this list. They moved from ninth to fifth. They are at 85 Bitcoin per exahash. So with the amount of exahash that they have online, if they can stay in this neighborhood, they are going to be a force. These are very good numbers for Marathon in the month of May, in my opinion. So Terra Wolf is at 83, so that's still a good number. Cypher's at 82, that's also still a good number. So all of those are competitive numbers. We do have a drop off. Argo Blockchain goes down to 69. They have lagged behind all year. Riot is at 64. Now this Riot has a little misleading. They participate in an energy program where they do some self curtailment and get paid several million dollars to sell energy to the grid. They're not the only ones that do that. So that does affect several of these numbers, but it has the biggest impact on Riot blockchain. So I will say, although they seem to be very far behind, they would be more like in the mid to high 70s if they had mined Bitcoin instead of selling their energy back. And then Hut is in 10th place. There are 57 Bitcoin per exahash. So they remain in 10th place. Lastly, we're gonna take a look at the HODL position. So there's really three companies that have large stacks of Bitcoin on their balance sheet. The top seven on this list remain in the same order. The top three are far and away. You have Marathon at 12,259. They're in first place by a lot. Hut is in second place at 9,233 Bitcoin. Now it is worth mining that for the moment, they still have more self mind Bitcoin. That's probably going to change over the next few months because Marathon did buy over 4,000 of their Bitcoin a few years ago. So they are closing in on Hut's self-mining number, but Hut is in a very strong place in second place on HODL. This is what makes them a top 10 type company because you can see on the operations side, temporarily they are struggling, but their balance sheet is very, very rock solid. So in third place is Riot with over 7,000 Bitcoin on their balance sheet. And then we have a gigantic drop off. You're gonna see in fourth place, we go all the way down under 2,000. Hive has 1,950 Bitcoin on their balance sheet. They've been hovering around that number. They actually were a little higher than that last month. Then we go to Bit Digital. So it's worth noting with Bit Digital, these are Bitcoin equivalent because a lot of this is actually Ethereum that they're holding and staking. So 1,418 is their Bitcoin equivalent, but again, you know, a good portion of that is actually Ethereum. DMG Blockchain, which is not on any of these lists in any other way, and it's a very small company, has been able to hold 570 Bitcoin on their balance sheet. So for the size company that they are, that is an outstanding number, but I do expect numbers seven, eight, and nine to pass them shortly. Bitfarms is at 510 Bitcoin on their balance sheet. They once had over 6,000 Bitcoin on their balance sheet. They had to sell all of those to get rid of all of their debt, but they are now once again hodling Bitcoin. So they're very slowly adding to their Bitcoin balance and they expect and continue to do so in, into the halving. CleanSpark is just behind that at 451 and they're in a similar position. They've talked about adding to their hodl position. So I expect that number to grow throughout the year. Cypher is at 407 Bitcoin. 
So they have not really come out and said they're going to hodl. They've hovered around this number for a while, so we'll have to see where that goes. Then it drops all the way down to 50 with Argo blockchain. So Argo blockchain is closing in on potentially having no more Bitcoin on their balance sheet. All the rest of the companies are between 50 and zero. So, so you can see there's really starting to be the haves and the have nots in these hodls. This list is staying very consistent. I expect that to continue for the rest of the year. Okay, so that's it. That's all the information that I have for you on all the Bitcoin miners and their operations for the month of May. So as always, this is not financial advice. Please invest very carefully in these Bitcoin miners if you choose to invest so do your own due diligence these are highly volatile stocks so I want to thank everybody for watching if you made it this far please remember to subscribe to the channel smash the like button and hit the notification bell so you never miss another video thanks again and we'll see you in the next video